Good evening, Internet. Father Benjamin at St. Joseph's here, just checking in with you. I just finished celebrating Palm Sunday Mass, and um, it was wonderful to get to do that, but I'm also just like, I'm aching for you guys. Um, so I wanted to check in with you real quick. Welcome to Holy Week. It's officially Holy Week right now. I believe that? Um, tomorrow's Mass is, as I just said, it's recorded. It's going to be available for you. As long as we can get uploaded tonight, it'll be available for you all day tomorrow. So you can watch it whatever time your family wants to sit down and tune into the Mass together and pray through the Mass and make a good spiritual communion. Um, holy Week is the most holy week of the year. That might seem really obvious. Uh, that's why it's called Holy Week. But the, the, the sacred triduum, right? those three days, the sacred triduum, it's not tridium, it's triduum, if you speak in Latin. So anyways, I say triduum. I think you should too. The sacred triduum is Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and Holy Saturday. Holy Thursday, we celebrate the Lord's Supper, right? Mass of the Lord's Supper, a very beautiful institution of the priesthood and the Holy Eucharist. It's actually one great big long liturgy, the triduum. It's just one liturgical day broken into three parts. So the Mass of the Lord's Supper, then Good Friday is the veneration of the cross, uh, three o'clock Friday afternoon. You've seen it a million times, you've probably been a million times come and everybody kisses the cross, make some uh, gesture of reverence, use your cross in your own home this time. It's going to be awesome. And then Holy Saturday is the day in the tomb, right? So we're going through the passion, death, and resurrection of Jesus. And on the way there, we have Saturday, which is just a day in the tomb. It's quiet still. We wait with anticipation for the resurrection. And then Saturday evening, we celebrate the Easter vigil. It's got this great um, Easter fire procession at the beginning, enter, enter into a dark church and candlelight, a bunch of scripture readings, and people are usually baptized and confirmed and receive First Holy Communion, call them the Easter Sacraments of Initiation. Um, and so we're looking forward to getting to do the best we can to celebrate those things with you from afar. You know, we're getting back to our roots here. The first Easter wasn't celebrated in a big church with lots of awesome sacraments. It was celebrated in an empty tomb. And the apostles were you know, in hiding for fear and being confused what in the world is going on. And so we're getting to be pretty biblical with our, our Holy Week this year. So that's a little bit about the Triduum. Again, it's the most beautiful liturgy of the whole year. Please come and watch it and pray with me. Um, we'll, be, uh, we'll be celebrating together with the bishop, right? So the bishop is going to be celebrating the Chrism Mass on Wednesday. Back up. The Chrism Mass, Wednesday at 630, will be broadcast from St. James Cathedral, Bishop Noonan. And he's going to at that Mass, he's going to bless the oils that we use for all the sacraments throughout the year. So um, the oil of the sick is the one that I'm, I'm, I use the most. It's always the one that I name the first. The oil of catechumens, the one we use for baptism. Sorry, oil of the sick, in case you didn't know, is for uh, the anointing of the sick. Oil of catechumens for baptism and the sacred chrism, where the Mass gets its name, the chrism Mass, is the holiest of the three oils. It's also used at baptism, again, at confirmation and then ordination. So it's... Um, and that one's got like special perfume. It smells really good um, that gets poured into the oil. So watch the chrism mass. Watch the bishop bless all those oils. Maybe you're going to receive one of those sacraments this year. And you'll get to see him bless those oils that your priest will use to bless you with those things. Um, so that's that's the triduum. Easter Sunday, we will be live streaming from here at St. Joseph. You can watch Easter Sunday morning. I haven't even gotten that far yet. I don't know what time it's going to be. Probably like 10 a.m. Um, but I'll... I'll let you know before then for sure. Uh, Holy Week Triduum. Um, in the description below to this video and in subsequent videos for Holy Week, you're going to find um, a bunch of stuff that we put together for you, a bunch of resources that are out there that we want you to know about. So um, there's, first of all, um, Holy Week from Home, right? And it's got a bunch of devotional prayers that you can use with your family to be interactive with the liturgy as much as you can and as much as is appropriate obviously you can't celebrate mass on your own at home but there's little things that you can do with palms on palm sunday with the cross on good friday um, i'm thinking about making uh, a video this week where i bake some bread and I, I put out the recipe and invite you to sit down and as a family make some bread with me and and share it together um and the mass of the lord's supper on on holy thursday it's not the eucharist it's not you can't do that you're not a priest but we can break bread, right? And we can we can do some things that maybe we're not used to doing, like baking bread together as a family. Um, 
maybe you'll find some other things that you like to cook together. Um, also, Holy Thursday is a good time to eat lamb, right? They were celebrating the Passover. Um, okay, so um, you've got Holy Week at Home is a great uh, liturgical, paraliturgical home devotional resource that we're sending out. It's in the description below. Also, that's available in Spanish. Then we have the Missal, uh, the Missalette. So all the prayers from the liturgy that you'll be watching on TV, the prayers and the readings and such, they're in the Missalette. Again, that's available in English and Spanish. We went ahead and put the link up there for Bishop Noonan's Masses, so you'll know where to find him on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday for, again, Chrism Mass, Holy Thursday, Good Friday, Easter Vigil. Um, we will still celebrate those Masses here, but we're not going to live stream them because we're not going to try and compete with the Bishop. What we are going to do is we're going to record them, and then we're going to chop them up into like little highlights so you can see, oh, yeah, look, that's what Holy Thursday looked like at St. Joseph's this year while Father Benjamin was offering the sacrifice on our behalf. Um, what else do I need to tell you about? Keep an eye out on our Facebook page, or this YouTube channel, uh, for upcoming information about all those things. Our book discussion and our community check-in is typically Wednesday at 6.30. That's the same time the Bishop's having the Chrism Mass broadcast. So we're going to bump that. Day and time, again, I'm sorry. It's late, Saturday night. I don't know yet, but still several days away. So keep an eye on the YouTube channel, on the Facebook channel. Uh, on the Facebook page, and we will figure it out, um, and we'll, we'll we'll get to do it. So, happy Holy Week. Um, press into it. Lean into it. could be the holiest week of your life. I hope it is. I love you all. I'm praying for you. God bless you.